if your viewsonic monitor is showing no signal message or sometimes you are having black skin issue and you have tried all the troubleshooting method you found online like power cycling the PC, resetting the monitor or even checking the cable but none of them is working then you are in the right place. In this video I will tell you 4 effective methods and I guarantee you once you finished watching this video your problem will be fixed. So the method number one is check the display cable connection. If your PC has a separate graphics card, make sure the display cable is connected to the graphics card port on the back of the computer and not in the main board. This is very important because if your computer has a dedicated graphics card and you are connecting the display cable to the main board, then your monitor won't receive any signal and ultimately show you the no signal message. But if the connection is okay, then try using a different display cable. For example, if you are using an HDMI cable, try using a VGA. But if you are using a VGA cable try using an HDMI cable after then turn off the computer and then disconnect it from the power supply wait for at least a few minutes once you are done power the PC back on now most of the time if the issue is caused by a temporary system glitch, then this simple power cycling will fix the issue but if it doesn't work in your case then maybe there is an issue with the BIOS setting graphics card or even with the RAM slot first of all look at your PC's RAM slot take a screwdriver and then open the back panel of your computer Locate the RAM slot and then carefully disconnect it from the board. Now using a soft brush, clean all the visible dust and debris you see. Once you are done, put everything back in and power the PC on. If cleaning the RAM slot doesn't work in your case, then you might want to reset the BIOS setting of your computer. For this, again open the back panel of the computer and then locate the CMOS battery in the main board. Once you found the battery, disconnect it and then wait for at least a few minutes. After then, put the battery back in. Also, if your PC has a separate graphics card, you might want to try disconnecting it from the main board and then reconnecting it after a few minutes. So there it is, if the issue is still the same and there is no improvement, then there is nothing you can do. Simply call a professional repairman and let him handle the issue and identify what the problem is. If the video was helpful, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you still have any question or concern, let me know in the comment box.